Hello friends, now here we have x raised to 2x raised to 6 is equal to 3 and we have to find out the value of x. So what we are going to do is let's take x raised to 6 is equal to t. Now let's raise 1 upon 6 both the side. So we have 6 x raised to 6 whole raised to 1 upon 6 is equal to t raised to 1 upon 6. As we know, if we have a raised to b whole raised to 1 upon c is equal to, we can write like this, a raised to b upon c and also write like this, a raised to 1 upon c whole raised to b. In this manner, we can write here x raised to 6 into 1 upon 6 is equal to t raised to 1 upon 6. These two will be cancelled. So we have x is equal to t raised to 1 upon 6. Now let's go back to our main equation and our main equation is x raised to 2x raised to 6 is equal to 3. Now we got x is equal to t raised to 1 upon 6 so we can put this t raised to 1 upon 6 whole raised to 2 and 2 and we have taken x raised to 6 is equal to t. So here we can write t is equal to 3. Okay. As we have seen earlier, if we have a raised to b whole raised to 1 upon c, then we can write like this a raised to b upon c. Okay. And by using this rule on this side, we can write here t raised to 2t upon 6 is equal to 3. Now 2 3s are 6. So we have t raised to t upon 3 is equal to 3. Now let's raise 3 both the side. So we have t raised to t upon 3 raised to 3 is equal to 3 raised to 3. Now our next step is t raised to t upon 3 into 3 is equal to 3 raised to 3. This both will be cancelled. So we have t raised to t is equal to 3 raised to 3. Right? Now, here base and exponent are same both the side. So we can equate t is equal to 3. We have taken x raised to 6 is equal to t. So t is equal to x raised to 6 is equal to 3. So x raised to 6 is equal to 3. Now let's raise 1 upon 6 both the side. x raised to 6 raised to 1 upon 6 is equal to 3 raised to 1 upon 6. So we can also write like this x raised to 6 upon 6 is equal to 3 raised to 1 upon 6. So this both will be cancelled. So we have x is equal to 3 raised to 1 upon 6 and we can also write like this x is equal to plus or minus 6th root of 3. Now if we raise an even power of a negative number we get a positive number. Here we are taking 6th root of a positive number which is basically reverse of this process. As 6 is an even number the result can either be positive or negative. So we will be consider both the possibility. So x is equal to plus or minus 6th root of 3. Now we can check the answer by putting it into the main equation and our main equation is x raised to 2x raised to 6 is equal to 3. Okay. Now we can also put x is equal to 3 raised to 1. So we can do like this 3 raised to 1 upon 6 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 1 upon 6 raised to 6 is equal to 3. Now our next step is 3 raised to 1 upon 6 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 1 upon 6 into 6 is equal to 3. Now these two will be cancelled. And 2 3s are 6. So we have 3 raised to 1 upon 6 raised to 6 is equal to 3. So 
So our next step is 3 raised to 6 upon 6 is equal to 3. This both will be cancelled. So 3 is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 raised to 1 upon 6 is equal to plus or minus 6th root of 3 is the correct answer. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.